How's it going everyone? This is Tom with RedmanPie.com. The Golden Master for iOS 7 is finally here. Apple have just released it to developers. Uh, it is due for release on the 18th of September and that's a public release. If you're unaware, a Golden Master edition of some software is actually the same as the public release. So this is the exact release that will be released to consumers on the 18th. Being that release is actually so close, I thought it'd be apt to do another walkthrough, but this time of the iOS 7 Golden Master Edition. Okay, so let's start off with the lock screen. Uh, to be honest, with the GM, there's not going to be many new features. We've seen all of the stuff already. It's just smoothness. Uh, and uh, obviously, this is the version which consumers are going to get. So on the lock screen, of course, you get access to your notification center and control center like you would normally get. Uh, so as you can see, let's just unlock this. Um, let's open up the settings. The first thing I want to show you is a couple of actual new additions in the beta, uh, excuse me, in the Golden Master. And the first is the wallpaper edition. So if you go into wallpapers, you go into dynamic, you get a few more dynamic wallpapers here. And if you go into stills, just like this, uh, and scroll down, you get a ton of new wallpapers. Um, and uh, the ones at the bottom are my favorite. I really like uh, a few of these. So I'm definitely going to be using these. Uh, on my devices. There's a ton to choose from as you can see um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this very bright green one uh, as my background for this video and then the next thing I wanted to show you is the uh, the sounds, the ringtones and text sounds. If we just go on here, um, I'm going to turn my volume up. Hopefully you'll be able to hear through my camera mic, which is shocking. Uh, but as you can see, there's just some new additions on the uh, ringtones and text tones. Not particularly groundbreaking, I just thought that I'd mention it. Uh, as you can see, if you listen carefully... There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and walk through Control Center here. As you can see, you get uh, a number of settings along the bottom initially. Here's the flashlight uh, or the camera. It's basically just the LED on the camera. Uh, and uh, you can just toggle that on and off. You get an access to your uh, clock, calculator, and camera. Quick access to those. You get a uh, media controls. You get airdrop. That's a new iOS 7 feature. Basically just lets, it's kind of like uh, old school Bluetooth on devices. Uh, and then you get uh, your airplay settings to the right there as well. Uh, media controls, brightness settings, just like this, uh, scrollable brightness settings. Uh, and then toggles, quick toggles along the top. You get a uh, airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb, and auto rotation. Next up is Notification Center, and as you can see, these apps are actually automatically updated. That's a new iOS 7 feature as well. Very, very, very useful. Uh, I hate having to update my apps. And as you can see, the notification, you get three kind of panels. Uh, you get your missed, your all, and your today notifications. Uh, and you can kind of scroll down, manage your day a little bit better than you would have been able to. It's kind of more like a planner than it used to be. Now let's check out multitasking. Gone are the days of the app drawer. Uh, now we have um, kind of this full page... Uh, card style multitasking so you can swipe up to close out of applications uh, I much prefer the UI I don't know if it's more functional I wouldn't say it is really um, there's quite a lot of wasted space to be honest maybe they could do something with that in the future and we see what I mean when I check out the iPad version uh, in a little while but that's you know it's a good it's definitely a good change and I do like it you can close out more than one application at once and it's quite quick to close them out as well Next up we have the folders interface and as you can see you can uh, enable paging on your folders. You can have uh, quite a lot of apps in here which is good. You just drag an app over to the new screen. Uh, it seems to me that three pages is the maximum you can have. That may well be wrong. I haven't uh, spent too long testing iOS 7 uh, with things like this anyway. All of the animations now on iOS 7 are incredibly smooth. Things like this just uh, are all seamless, and it should be because this is the public release software now. I'm sure most of you are aware that the entire UI of iOS 7 has changed. Pretty much everything uh, has been tweaked or altered. So in the settings, all of the settings has changed. Uh, the camera UI has changed. You get a lot more function in here, actually, than you normally would. Uh, so, for example, you can take square, you can take panoramic images. You've got live filters. Uh, just by tapping the little icon down in the bottom right hand corner and uh, you can actually apply those and see how they look in real time that's a really nice addition uh, this will be very good on the iphone 5s with the improved camera but now taking a look on the ipad variation as you can see uh, it's bigger i'm sure you're aware of that by now to be honest that's the only downside about the ipad variant of ios 7 is that it literally is just bigger you don't really get a whole lot more function in the ios 7 uh, 
kind of UI for iPad. Uh, I'm having trouble pulling up my control center because of the stand I'm using for my iPad right now. But of course you get full uh, control center functionality, full notification center functionality. Everything has landscape and portrait control. Um, there's a ton, a ton of wasted space on the uh, multitasking for iPad. It's just an entire view just to change windows. And you know, I mean, uh, I can see why they've done it like this, it's just bigger, but uh, I would prefer it to be bigger and better, like uh, have some actually new additions, new functions that you couldn't do on a smaller screen, that really is what an iPad should be. But to be honest, the UI is very solid, it's a very solid operating system now, and is a pleasure to use, I'm really enjoying iOS 7, uh, both on my iPad and on my iPod. I'll definitely be installing it on my iPhone, possibly once a jailbreak is out for it, uh, but we'll have to see about that. Obviously on the home screen you get uh, both a notification center and control center accessibility, just like this. To be honest guys, that pretty much wraps up iOS 7. There's not an awful lot of uh, new functionality to talk about in the Golden Master Edition, but there is a new lot of functionality all over. I'm a big fan of control center and the new UIs make it somehow easier to use my iOS devices. Let me know your opinions down below in the comments on iOS 7. Do you think it's done enough uh, to maybe make you switch from Android or something similar or to stop you from changing more? More importantly, definitely just drop those comments down below. I'll be trying to respond to as many as possible. Get social with Redmond Pie on all of those links. Those are down below as well. And I will catch you next time.